Hi, I'm Tracy. Hi, I'm Ali. And we're here at our street studio and block house today. And we've been thinking about wanting to share some restorative poses with you this month. We're in that transition period before between spring, winter and spring. And you know, our bodies is still hard on our bodies, the cold sometimes and the warm sometimes. And no matter where you're at with how you feel about the weather, it's never a bad time to do a restorative pose. So I'm in my comfy cozies, and this is something that I think would just be a lovely, certainly um, Tracy's gonna show three different alternatives of how you would maybe be able to modify in an actual class with one of us. Mm -hmm. But totally inviting you to do this at, at your leisure at home. Like yeah. you're just feeling like doing something gentle and kind for yourself, a little self-care. Yeah, so, so we're, we're gonna share butterfly pose with you today. And as Alex Madison mentioned, we're gonna show you three different ways to do it. So you can use the props that you have at home. And my recommendation is give yourself a week, 10 minutes in this pose every day for a week and just see how you feel. I'll share a little bit about the benefits of it. Once I get Alex all comfy cozy in her pose here. So the first, <laughs> the first version we're gonna do is you can see there's a bolster set up on two heights, two blocks, one's higher than the other. And so that way it lets her head be a little bit higher than her hips. So go ahead and lay back, Alex. Awesome. This feels so good. Okay. And you just want to make sure that your sacrum, your bottom is on the mat, but you're pretty, you're about as close as you can get to the bolster so that your back is supported. So my, my low back, my sacrum is flushed against the edge. Yeah. Is where it as long as that's comfortable. Oh, yeah, that's really good. And then we've got another bolster here under her knees for this variation. And I'll go ahead and bring the soles of your feet together, Alex. Mm -hmm. So butterfly is feet together, knees dropping out wide. So with the bolster uh, underneath the legs, you bring that perpendicular to the long edge of your mat, and then that just totally supports the knees. Okay. And yet we're still feeling really heavy and intense. Yeah, you just, you just want to relax and let go here. Um, the way that Alex is set up on this bolster, it allows the shoulders to drop off the side. So a little bit of a heart opener here. Okay, and we'll just, as she just enjoys and takes a few breaths here, I'm going to tell you a little bit about butterfly pose. So you might guess from the way this pose is set up, but this is a really nice pose for improving flexibility in your hips and groins and thighs. And also strengthening hips, legs, lower back and abdomen, if you're, especially if you're doing it in a more active way suited, but this is a nice way here to just totally let go. And this offers relief from menstrual discomfort and menopause symptoms, if you experience either of those at any time. And it removes fatigue from long days of walking or standing. So this is a great release and heaviness to help the legs recover from using them a lot. All right, so I'm gonna uh, ease her into the next version. So we're gonna keep the legs where they are and she's gonna lift up and I'm gonna swap out the bolster. So you lift the bolster up, take our blocks out. So if you don't have two blocks at home, another option is bring a chair. So upside down, so seat. Hard. Yeah, so seat facing the floor. And then use your bolster or a thick pillow. If you don't have a bolster, use a thick pillow underneath. And I guess you want to go against. lower if you use a chair that doesn't have bars or cups. Yeah, right. so you can play around with this. Let's see, there's two, you can do it actually. So it's this way with the, with the chair legs facing you, close it up, or you can do it the other way and that takes you back a little bit more. So let's try that. Go ahead and lay back. Yeah, so it lifts you up a little bit higher than if you just have blocks. But Jeff, it's a nice, it's a nice position to have the head higher than the hips. And then again, if you're in this pose for a little bit and you're feeling any tension in the low back, then just scoop your tailbone under towards your heels and that will release the low back a little bit more. That's good. Good. Yeah. Okay, so then just take a few breaths here. Some other benefits of butterfly are that it soothes sciatic pain. Uh, relieve stress and calms the mind. So this is one of the reasons, one of the things I love about butterflies is that it's just a very calming pose. And the other thing I love about this pose is it's great for your digestion in this situation. If you're ever feeling like a heavy belly, you just had too much to eat. Um, this is a great pose for just helping the belly soothe. Okay. Cool. Okay, so one last variation here. Alex is gonna bring her legs up. We're gonna remove the bolster. 
We're going to take a strap. So you either want to have a strap that has a loop thing that you can loop around or not in any way, whatever you've got. And then you're going to go from the top. So knees up, bring the strap down over the knees. So on the thighs and shins. And then just make sure that your metal part doesn't end up push, putting any pressure on your legs. And then go ahead and let your legs fall out again, soles of the feet come back together. And then you can adjust the tightness of the strap. And this is another way that supports the legs. Yeah, so if, you need, if your legs are a little tighter, you can adjust the strap to keep the knees a little higher. So this is a nice way to do it as well. It also feels really nice to just rock a little when you've got the strap on. Yeah. Feels like you're cradling it a little. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So there you have it. Three ways to do butterfly. I challenge you to give it 10 minutes a day for a week and just see if that helps soothe any stresses or physical tensions in your body. And let us know how it goes. Send us a note on blockhouseyoga.com. Uh, you can find our contact there or post on Facebook. And if you're if you enjoyed this little little few minutes here with us and you'd like to join us for some yoga, please check out blockhouseyoga.com and sign up for some in-person or online classes. Thank you. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Take care, friends. Nice. We'll see you soon.